Hey, what's up everybody? I recently got the Elgato HD 60S Plus and I wanted to share how to set it up on the PC. So first things first you wanna do is connect the HDMI cord from the PC into the HDMI in part on the Elgato along with connecting your USB from the PC to you know the USB-C port right next to the HDMI in port on the Elgato. Next, you wanna connect another HDMI cable from the out going to your monitor, okay? Once that's all done, you also want to make sure you have this program here called the 4K Capture Utility. You can get this on Elgato's website. It's free. So once that's all done, you can open up the software here. And if you're not seeing anything on this side, that's okay. We'll help you figure out how to get this picture sorted later. But let's just start with going through some of the settings here. So click the preferences here. It'll come up and uh, starting off in general, you can you know automatically check for updates. You can check check this box if you want it. This part really doesn't matter. And remember, I'm only using this just for recording, not for streaming. So this is gonna be more geared towards recording, which I'm assuming is gonna be pretty similar to if you were also streaming. Going to the device, it'll show your capture card here, which is the HD60S Plus for this video. I think if you're using other capture cards, it'll be very similar. So this should apply to all of them. The video input is gonna be whatever your uh, graphics card is supporting so it's going to be 4k 60 fps for this one you can check the firmware to see if it's upgraded to the latest which it should be and then over here the audio input you want to leave it on hdmi because you want your audio coming from the hdmi cord okay hdmi color range is going to be bypass if you're on expand or shrink you can change it to bypass and then we'll help you figure out if you're having any washed out images how to get that improved to actually show what your monitor truly looks like Input EDID, you want to make sure this is on internal. Don't do display or merged, just do internal. If you're not seeing anything here, like I said, don't worry, we'll get to that part after going through these settings here. EDID, leave it on default. Go to the picture. This is all personal preference, so however you want your picture to be, you know, however you want your picture to look, you can set it to that. Okay, recording, so library location and screenshot location, set it to wherever you want it to. You can put it in your C drive, D drive, doesn't matter. The video encoder, so this Elgato card does not have the encoder built in. So I'm just using my hardware, which is my uh, 2070 graphics card. I enabled HDR recording. The format, I did 1080p because this card only supports up to 1080p recording. If it was another graphics or another Elgato card that supports 4K, then you could definitely you know move on to the higher um, formats here. Bitrate, you can just leave it at 26.7 or if you want it all the way up here, it's gonna take a lot more memory as far as uh, putting uh, doing the output. And uh, I disabled flashback recording because I don't want it to be recording in the background and whenever I'm making a video, it's just gonna be taking up more space on my um, drives here. Going to the mic, the audio input, you wanna make sure that you click this. Don't leave it as default. You wanna click this down here and if you have a mic, let's say you have a Blue Yeti or a Snowball, whatever, it should show up here so you can click that. You can raise the gain all the way to 100 if your volume is too low or if it's too high, then you can reduce the gain and see how that sounds. So you'll have to test it out, play with a little and see whatever your personal preferences are as far as the settings go. Okay, so going back to the displays here. If you're not seeing anything here or if you are seeing a screen here which is different from the screen that's over here, make sure this is on internal, make sure the EDID is on default, okay? Next, you wanna do right click on the desktop, go to display settings, and you might be seeing one monitor here and another monitor here. So what it's basically doing is it's showing the one output from your HDMI and one output from your display port. So we wanna merge these. So you're gonna to go to multiple displays, just scroll down a little and it'll say duplicate these displays when you drop down. This is the one you wanna select. Otherwise you might have ha over here, it might say show only one or show only two. So remember, click duplicate these displays and then you can see this setting here and that means you successfully duplicated both of them and then both what you're seeing on your actual desktop should now be coming up on what you're seeing here otherwise it's just going to be a little different okay the other thing that you want to do is if you're having any washed out colors here you can check you know is it anything going on with your settings if this is all in the middle and you're still having washed out colors and you've adjusted it and you're still having washed out colors that's okay. So what you want to do is come to the HDMI color range, make sure it's on bypass. Don't leave it on expand or shrink because those are going to change the colors as well. All right, next you want to right click, go to the Nvidia control panel. And from here, what we want to do is go to display. 
you want to click change resolution so this is my monitor i don't want to mess around with this one i want to click the hd 60s plus scroll down click use nvidia color settings the desktop color depth should already be at 32 bit if it isn't you can change it to that output color depth should be on 8 the output color format should be on rgb and then output dynamic range this is the one we really want to change this one should be on full mine was unlimited my colors were all washed out when i changed it to full i applied my settings and then the colors all looked good so those are some of the things that i ran into while i was setting up this device and uh you know i just wanted to share some of that for a quick fix rather than just searching all over google and having difficulty finding stuff to set up for yourself but uh, yeah if you guys have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and like i said this is just for setting it up on pc i have the hd 60s plus but i'm assuming that if you have any other card the setting should be relatively similar to that and uh yeah that's all i got thanks guys